hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Brun um, today we are doing a bit of a hike down to a river this is the entrance point there's some beautiful rolling hills and some scenery a lot of history gorgeous sky lovely clouds it should be a clear day um, later on and uh, getting out the car getting organized I've got Jay with me how you going hey, Jay good excellent and uh, looking forward to the day, Jay? Yeah, I am. It's a lovely day, beautiful sun. So I'm Gorgeous. Most of it, hey? And just uh, while we were packing the uh, gear out of the car and getting ready, we spotted a surface find. Um, bottle tops galore down here, but look at this one. Established 1911. Now, what a treat that is. We're picking it up. Haven't got the gloves on yet, but check that out. That's a good indication. Let's go on, see what we can find, and let's explore the river. So this is a bit of a hiking trail we've been to before. Um, got a bit of history to it. Back in the old days, an old coach used to transport people through here. There's a creek crossing. So take it down and have a look. Hello, you beautiful butterfly. What a gorgeous butterfly. There's a lot of these butterflies in, the, in this area. So perfect day, perfect time to see them. It's very early in the morning and they're kind of everywhere on the path. Just spotted this uh, really, really old post. Um, some old stones down here. Very interesting. Look at the size of those bolts. These are the things that uh, kind of give it away of its age. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Another bolt on this side or probably the same one that goes through. So that bolt goes from that end right through to that end. It's like a foot and a half. There's a roofing nail there. Hold the wire on. Yeah, very old post put in there a long, long time ago. Wow. Check out this gorgeous creek. What a beautiful location. We will be doing some rock hounding today, looking at some rocks in the river and in the creek. Very, very nice. A lot of reeds. It's a wonderful thing. A lot of these reeds filter the water through as it comes down before the water enters the ocean. So it's usually very clean water in this part of uh, the area. Absolutely gorgeous. There's blue wren birds, which are really, really pretty. They're tiny little birds with a male has a nice blue ring around his neck and on top of his head. Absolutely gorgeous. Just uh, walking along and spotted this little bit of a billabong. Be a wonderful spot to do some yabby fishing. And saw this. Look at the quartz in that rock. Just amazing. What do you reckon, Jay? Yeah. Quartz and uh, probably basalt, I'd say. Basalt, so, maybe. Quartz and basalt. Yeah, let us know what you think. Pretty cool rock. It really kind of stood out. And isn't this location really, really stunning? Oh, now on this property, there's sheep. Got a big ram over there having his breakfast chewing something take it down have a look got to be careful wow we've had some rain so there's a bit of water here it's a few holes here that the rabbits have dug wow that's really pretty Don't you just love the sound of running water? Got some gorgeous little pink and grey galahs birds just on the path, having their little seedy breakfast, eating bits of grass. Very cute. They are often in pairs and often in large flocks as well and they mate for life, which is just a beautiful thing. 
Hello birds. Don't want to frighten them, but off they go. There's another two. What a great place to live if you're a galah. Hey Jay, what are you looking for? Rocks down here. I'm just going to have a check, check them out. See what we got. Check some rocks out. Oh. Wow, it's a lot of uh, rocks with quartz in here. So I often wonder if there's any gold in this little river. Oh. Check that one out. There you go. With a smoky quartz straight up. Smoky quartz. Oh wow, that is pretty. Wow, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Jay, is this Jasper? Kind of looks like it. Very, very nice. Could be feldspar. Could be. Feldspar around here. Maybe. Feldspar. Okay. I'm still learning. But uh, regardless of what the rock is, Check out this incredible place. Just absolutely stunning. Big old trees. There's even some rogue olive trees through. Just incredible. And big giant rock. So what do you reckon it is? Well, it's a lot of different things. There's felt that's feldspar in there. I feldspar? Mm. It's a little bit of little bit of quartz in quartz. there. Bit of, I don't know what else, a bit of chalcedony or something. No, I don't no think chalcedony. so. Just felt spine Like quartz. a granite thing, I suppose. No, well, the area, the area's kind of got granite, basalt, feldspar in it. Lots of different rocks. Oh, so this is yeah. my oh what do you got there? Give it a, Give it a rinse. Give it a dunk. Oh. Dunk away with your special little dunking little stick. Oh, that's really cool. So this oh. is that. Oh. What's that? It's quartz with the mica in it, I think. See that how it glistens? A glisten bit. We can see it. Hopefully the camera can. Yeah, there is a lot of mica. We'll have a yeah. look at some more mica soon, further up the trail. Yeah. Very That's nice. That's a nice little piece. Wow. Check out all the rocks down there in the creek beds. Definitely have to bring the panning gear next time. Have a little bit of a pan for some gold, because you never know. Could be right down there. Wow. Giant tree, gorgeous location. Um, I've walked all along, along the river edge here and it's just been a gorgeous location after gorgeous location this is obviously an area where a lot of the uh, kangaroos and that must come down for a drink there's a lot of footprints and things very old old tree i can't see any um beehives or anything in it i'm sure it must be home to many birds and that is the scenery in the distance there's a big pile of rocks over there. So we'll go over there and have a look shortly. But we might just see what's in the water here along the edge and see what type of little rocks we can find. How are you going there, Jay? Yeah. Anything exciting? I think I found another piece of quartz and feldspar and what else was there? Oh yes, a nice little bit of smoky oh, quartz in there. That's a nice piece. Hmm. Wow. Very cool. Good, nice little handful. Hmm. Well done. Let's keep going. It's a nice little unusual piece. Very nice. A little piece of feldspar. The quartz in there. Really pretty. What you got, Jay? Oh, give something a bit of a rinse. Spotted one in the distance. What have we got? What have we got? 
bit of quartz oh, by the looks. Just a bit of quartz, yes. bit of quartz. Glistens in the sun. Very glistening in the sun. We're right on the water's edge. We're just looking at whatever is immediately on the edge in here. Just trying to find some interesting bits. Another one. Oh. It's glistening in the sun. Yeah, a bit of quartz. Still very pretty. It's a lot of quartz here, but it's still very pretty. Hmm. That's the... So when we uh, put the scoop right into the deeper part of the water down there these are the bits that come up uh, interesting little pieces mm. I wonder if we brought the panning gear out and had a go here what would happen mm. very interesting let's do it again just to show everybody what you've done okay. All right, just go. going down deep and just having a bit of a dig just bring up the types of small rock that's in there get wow. it in the sun a bit trying to get it in the sun yeah interesting all sorts of the small really pretty oh that's a nice piece of quartz in there jay mm, lots that. and lots of little different pieces it's very pretty yeah well um this river here is sort of brown and a lot of it's just from the tree trunks and all the tree sediment and things like that um, and obviously leaf litter and bark and all sorts of stuff like that that makes the water go even browner than normal you just scrape it all up and look at that stuff coming out it's got that sort of blackish appearance um, very interesting there's another little bit of clear quartz there clear quartz through it yeah wow oh, the feldspar there oh you mm. never know the gold pan's coming out soon so as you can see it's a pretty remarkable place just a glorious location Really nice place to come and wind down, have a look around, do an explore. So this area through here, history tells me that uh, it used to be a thoroughfare from getting from one part of the Flurio Peninsula to the capital city in Adelaide. So a long time ago, back in the 1800s, uh, through these big rolling hills and valleys, they used to drive a bullock team with goods and supplies. They used to come through with um, carriages, with passengers that were going from point A to point B, just like we move around today, but uh, obviously on horseback or by foot. So there are many, many locations. And along the way, they would have seen some incredible things, which I am here looking at today. Isn't history wonderful? And look at this most incredible location as far as the eye can see. I'm going to do a 360. The sun's back over there. It's a glorious day. Big, beautiful trees, a flowing river, plenty of water for their animals, for the horses to drink, for the cows to drink. And uh, this is a sheep property and a cattle property. And I feel so blessed to be able to be here. Now, I'll take you through a little bit further and show you something pretty special and uh, wonderful to come here and be able to share this with you. So this part of the river would probably have been where, um, you know, the people that lived here once a long time ago would have come down to gather some water. It's quite a nice clearing, as you can see, nice and flat, lovely spot that perhaps children may have been able to swim in that lived around here or travelers that traveled through here might have come down and and had a bit of a cool off in the water on the edge here lots of glorious trees but what i want to show you is this incredible spot now there is a ruin here and it is just spectacular very old ruin and uh, people used to stop here and have a rest it was a bit of an inn kind of a, a place to stop and perhaps um, 
you know, buy some food or share a meal with the occupants that were here. And people lived here. Look at this giant tree at the back. Just spectacular. Now we aren't metal detecting here today because in the distance there are a lot of sheep and they're all lambing, having lambs. So um, we've just come to have a bit of a look today and share it with you. It's just magnificent. Magnificent. Would have been a fairly decent sized place. Bit of a path here that led to the front door. Giant tree at the back. Can't see any uh, remnants of a chimney or anything. But there's certainly dips in the ground over there that indicate they might have been rubbish, sort of um, rubbish pits, because they often used to bury their own rubbish here. And look at those rocks in the distance and that majestic view. They would have had windows here at the front and those windows would have had this view. How gorgeous, straight down to the river. Now fairly flat land at the front, lots of space, lots of grazing land. They may have had uh, sheep here, may have been farmers, not quite sure. But I do know that it was a bit of an inn, according to history and stories. And uh, I think maybe the chimney was on this side because uh, there's a bit of a collapse here. So maybe they had the chimney on this side. They certainly had plenty of water here. A lot of rocks over there to use to build this dwelling. It's the same rocks that are predominantly in the, um, in the area. So they certainly had materials to build shelter. Just magnificent. Wow. This is probably one of the biggest trees I have ever, ever seen. Gigantic. Wow. It's probably well over a hundred years old. Magnificent. Big tree trunk root system. Just amazing. Amazing. So this is the um, other side of the ruin from where I was. And very interesting bit of a raised mound there. It comes down through here. And then over here, there's a big pile of rocks. So I'm wondering if perhaps there was some sort of another structure here that had collapsed over time or perhaps not. Maybe it's just rocks that were piled on top. What would have been a rubbish pit. It's certainly got um, that sort of appearance of a rubbish pit in this area. There's lots of little dips and holes and whatnot. I have detected here before a long time ago, um, but the grass was too high and I didn't stay very long. Uh, but the grass is down now, so maybe we'll have another go next time. Now have a look at that from this angle, just, just glorious. There's that big tree, very, very pretty. Well, it's been wonderful exploring this old ruin and taking some photographs and imagining what life could have been like for the people that lived here or used this property or passers-by even coming to visit. What an incredible place just amazing. I'll be back with the metal detector. One more spin around. I'll be detecting underneath those trees, looking to find some harmonica reeds, maybe a button or two or a coin. I'll be looking around here because it's a close point to the river where maybe some laundry was done and buckets of water were carried up. Um, excellent property. And there's obviously little places and little divots uh, with uh, rubbish piles that they might have crockery, china, old bottles. I'll bring you back when I come back. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this little hiking and explore trip. Uh, have a great day. Bye for now.